quotient of expressions involving exponents, we're asked to simplify, uh, but first I would like for you to recall that whenever we have a base raised to a power and we divide it by the same base raised to another power, we actually can combine that and make that just the one base, x, we're keeping that base, but we take the power of the top and subtract the power of the bottom. This is the rule that we're going to use for this expression. So doing that for the a's, since I've got a3 on the bottom and a3 on the top, then my rule says that I can t keep the base, and which is a, and make that to the 3 minus 3, which is 0. Now I'll come back and clean this up in a few minutes, but let's do the same thing for the b here b to the 6 in the top, b to the 2 in the bottom. I'm going to keep the base, b, and take the power of the top, 6, minus the power of the bottom, 2. That would be 4. Now that x to the 5, there's no other x in the top, so there's not really anything I can do with it. I'm just going to leave it in the bottom. And then you may recall that whenever we have a variable raised to the zero power, that that will be one. So if that becomes one, then it's gonna be one times b to the fourth, which is b to the fourth over x to the five. That is our simplified solution. But I'm also gonna do this one other way, and that is, I'm going to write out our original expression. We had a fraction. a to the third in the top gives me a times a times a. And then times b to the sixth. I'm going to need a longer fraction. b to the sixth is b, b, b. And we need six of those b's. So that's b to the sixth. And I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom. We started off with a to the third. That's three a's being multiplied. b to the second is two b's being multiplied. And then x to the fifth is five x's being multiplied. So we've really just written this all out and gotten rid of all of those exponents and now since I have some of the same terms in the top and the bottom I can cancel them so that this a in the top cancels that a in the bottom a divided by a is 1 same thing here same here there's an a canceling an a and some of the B's are gonna cancel it looks like maybe this B will cancel with that one and this B will cancel with that one and there's no other like terms in the top and the bottom, so there's nothing else for me to cancel. But I still have b times b times b times b, which is b to the fourth in the top. And I still have x times x times x times x times x, which is x to the fifth in the bottom. So we ended up at the same place whether we use the rule or we just wrote it all out and did some canceling.